Hello everybody! This is Nine-ish from Generic Gaming, finally putting up a video. Sorry about that. We've all been busy with 12th grade, you know, graduating from high school and all that crap, so... And now I've just been doing IB testing. I am so tired of it. I only have two more tests left, and then I'm done, and that's just the end of this week. So I'll definitely have some more videos up during the summer. I think I'm going to have a job, so that might cut into my time, but... I'll try to do as much as I can for you guys, and just please put up requests for what you guys want. It seems like Command & Conquer is still the main thing, but if you guys have any requests for any new games potentially, StarCraft II, Heart of the Swarm I have, I haven't played it much because of, again, IB testing, but, well, we'll see what happens. So, I'm just going to be playing a little bit of Dota 2 here, just, it's an old review, uh, sorry, replay with, and I played as Crystal Maiden, this was just a random all-pick match that I ended up having. So let's get started. So first of all, I just wanted to make this video especially just to show we need that in Dota 2, one of the main things that people don't realize, especially from coming from uh, what's it called League, is that the team aspect, I feel like that's really missing and lacking in terms of um, when League players come to Dota, they really lack that team aspect and the roles because I feel like a lot of times there's so many multi roles in league like it's a it's a big leeway like I can't play crystal maiden as a carry I don't I don't know why it's just abnormal for me apparently so but other people will complain from league and be like oh you can play this guy as a carry too blah 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 and it's like the biggest support in the game like wisp so I just want to make sure that you can solidify that your role in the game is very important, okay? If we just look at my team really quick, Wisp, Wisp over here is a support, Crystal Maiden is a support, Morphling, carry, Meepo, carry, Crazy Farmer, QOP, carry slash ganker. Make sure you get those roles down, okay? As soon as you start your game, you want to make sure you have a good balance about two supports two carries and a semi-carry or two semi-carries and a carry whatever you want to do it depending if you want to end the game early or not usually in pub games you don't really have that kind of leeway you just have people acting retarded but what can you do that's how this game that's how these kind of games work in pubs so i'm just going down bottom lane with meepo support him we can easily get some free kills because as you can see crystal maiden has a very nice um stun for three seconds and Meepo also has his net which is very nice two min two seconds and it interrupts channeling so it can mess with um not juggernaut I don't think there's anyone who channels over here but it can mess with channeling spells like a uh, shadow shaman for his shackle or witch doctor for his stuff so you can see over here these guys are just getting aggressive that's how you have to play with us although he kind of went way too far with that with the idea is all you, as a sport what you want to do is you want to just jump in go as fast as you can and get that tether going because it gives you the bonus speed um me as crystal maiden i just want to be aggressive put them both back and then lower their farm get those denies off and let meepo get his last hits chill it's pretty simple being a support you want to get if you have two supports you want to let one get the wards one get the courier or if it's just one support, get the wards and the courier. Um, usually courier is more important early game, unless you have people who are going to be very aggressive on the other team. So you see what I'm doing right here. I'm just harassing. I'm not focusing on getting last hits. I'm harassing and getting my denies off. Trying not to push the lane. Honestly, I should have been uh, getting those pulls, but I was being lazy. That was my bad. So you see Meepo getting very aggressive here, but he didn't coordinate with me very well. Again, pub games, what can you do? So I just popped in over there, got that um, Frostbite off. So he sits there for... And look, even at his level 1, her level 1, excuse me, it's 1.5 seconds. It doesn't seem like that long, but once you chain it with someone else, 3.5 seconds of them just sitting there. At low levels, that's deadly. So as you can see, they're just pushing top. I'm, we're pushing bot a little, and everything's going good. And you see, they have wards too, just like this. 
This should be an integral part of the game. I feel that people really ignore it, but wards are very important. Because it, it's just like driving, okay? You have to have vision, otherwise you're gonna die. It's, it's the same concept. It goes all, all around in life. So, right now it's just early game again. You see that uh, Wisp is trying to mess around with uh, Broodmother and them because that's that's another good thing Wisp can do. Even though you can't see Broodmother, you can still hit um, Broodmother with the tether. And you see Kunkka coming in for this actually overpowered gank just because it's so annoying. I hate when people get haste runes. So I just try to do what I can to get them back. Try to save myself, maybe. That is a really cool animation. I never, honestly, I don't appreciate it enough, but Dota 2 has some really nice graphics. I'm not playing it on full setting. Sorry, my computer is kind of funky for that. It, It's good, it just doesn't like that for some reason. So let's pick up the pace right here. So again, right now, let Meepo farm. As soon as Meepo hits level 6, it just goes insane because two Meepos is good. One Meepo is good, but two Meepos is even better. And then as soon as he hits 11, it gets three and then four obviously at 16. if you can get that aghanim scepter it's great because you have a bunch of meepos meaning not only can you cast his q and his w a crap load but you can also poof across the map so i can send one meepo over here one meepo over here one meepo over here and then i can just poof while the meepos are farming so it's very effective in terms of you can farm fast and get up to 10 levels above everyone else really quickly. Like you can end the game at 25 minutes easy with Meepo if he goes uncontrolled. So you see Juggernaut just went up here just because he needs some farm and we're kind of shutting him down down here. And we're just pushing the lane a bit. SK's getting a little bit of farm but he's he fell for the trick of getting the Vampire Aura. You all never try to fall for that as SK. Even though it's tempting, the most you want to get in it is one level. But you want to level up his stun a lot because it's really strong in terms of... It gives damage over time, which is always good. Because then while they're running, they get damage. And it's a slow and a stun. So as it's immediate damage, it's damage over time, it's stun, and it's slow. So it's really effective. And it's versatile as well. So as you can see, what I'm getting is I'm trying to go for just some items for myself what you want to do is have some restoration boots are integral to any character and then i'm building i believe it was a headdress i can't remember in this game actually so i just tp'd up top trying to get some pressure going on there since i saw they were pushing and you see there's three top one two three and they're just defending very nicely so right here i'm going to slow it down a second i'm just harass I'm not harassing yet, but I'm just popping in over here, scaring Juggernaut away from these creeps over here. So I'm trying to get... I'm trying to mess with their pulls. That's another thing that... Uh, uh, what am I saying? Supports try to do. You want to try to mess with their pulls or do your own pulls. Stacking and pull. Always try to stack and pull. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I don't know how to help you there. Uh, basically, let me pause this for a second. Stacking is when you go... You know how a creep camp works, right? Usually it's only one set of creeps. However, what you can do is if you pull the creeps out, literally pull them out, lure them out, and then it hits the next minute, the new, keep, new creeps will respawn there, and the ones that you pulled out will go back there. So that's what's called pulling and stacking. Stacking just means there's going to be multiple creeps on one camp. So that's, that's a very effective method if you guys don't already know try to learn it. I don't know if that happened in League. I'm not exactly sure. I never played it enough to know those mechanics, but it was pretty, uh, it's a pretty effective method in terms of carries can do that and get that done. So you see here, they're just going all out here. Broodmother's getting really annoying because Broodmother's Q is very effective and I'm just microing myself out here. As you can see, um, Crystal Maiden has a very low cooldown on her frostbite 10 seconds which isn't that much at all considering it can stun for three at level four and then you always want to level up the aura so one thing i feel again another thing that i feel is lacking in a lot of players is they don't realize that auras are a very important part of supports that's why as a support you always want to try to get your um your drum of endurance which is your 
let's see if I can find it right over here. So it gives everyone a move speed bonus, which is always nice. Attack and move speed. And also you want to get things like uh, what are the Crystal Maiden's Arcane Aura. Think about that for a second. At level 3, it does 1.5 mana regen per second to every single person on the map that's on your side. That's really good for people like Zeus or Bane or any other person who relies on quick magic spells to get their money. So that's another important thing. As you can see, the Meepo is utilizing the various Meepo effect using two Meepos at once in two different locations. Uh, I've seen Meepos play successfully by just having um, all their Meepos in one place and just walking around chain stunning and then poofing. And I feel it works, but I haven't been... I've been eh, decently successful. It's just what, as a Meepo, you want to stay away from people focusing you. Now, you see I'm just pressuring again up top because I want to let Meepo get as much farm as possible. And I know t top needs help because Wisp is way under leveled and I need to get... I need to get this lane going again. With Broodmother farming this much, it's kind of dangerous. So you see QOP getting up here. It's it's really effective to have a QOP things with AoE. You always want to have those as much as you can. Because they can get rid of Broodmother without seeing Broodmother. Which is very important. That was that was so sad how that missed. I was just like... Wh when, I, when that happened, I was just like, how? How the hell are you that close? But it doesn't hit. So let's just pop over here at the um, game stats. So you see, I'm not looking to get last hits. I didn't get that many denies because I was focusing on harassment. But if you go over to assists, I'm pretty good. Four assists, four assists and one kill out of eight. I'm pretty happy with that. And you see right there, that's where damage over time becomes really important. So while they're running away, they can keep getting damaged. And so you can finish people off from a distance. So again, I'm just going to run around. Yeah, I'm going for the headrests for people so they can get some HP. Also, I'm getting sentry wards. Honestly, it's kind of self-explanatory, but this whole list at the bottom, these five items, wait, one, two, three, four. Yeah, five items. These are all support items. You want to keep up with these depending on your condition. Sentry wards and dust are for invisibility. Uh, sentry wards, obviously, they sit there for a while. Dust is just temporary. It depends on your situation. Dust is not very effective for Broodmother early game just because Broodmother can run around really quick. During uh, team fights, it's very easy to use. Just pop a dust, uh, stun Broodmother, focus, and you're good. So... That's what's going on right now. I kind of failed there and I died just because I got greedy. I wanted to get as much farm as I could before I went back home. That was a bad choice on my part. But you see now, since they have vision, they have confidence in using this walkway. That's a very important thing. It, I know it seems uh, like a minute detail just to use this little walkway over here. But it's it's it becomes very important just to reach a uh, flank gank, as I like to call it. You can just come in from here, come in from here. You have vision, so you're not worried about dying, and you can easily kill someone caught right here. And as a support, again, you you think, oh, 150 gold for a war, that's, that's a lot of gold, as a support at least. But think about how much you can get just with that one war you can get a kill. This QLP was just terrible with those ults. I, I don't know why. So... You see, the support, uh, uh, Wisp isn't doing too well with that. But you, yeah, you should have tethered earlier. And remember, utilize your tether as much as you can. Because again, it's 40 mana. Oh, it doesn't show it. But it's 40 mana, it gives move speed. And as a Wisp, what you want to do is you eat a tango, or you do a healing salve, and you tether. So then this person gets the benefit, and you do. So both of you don't have to buy restorative items, only one. It works with clarities as well. I, I'm not sure if Tranquil Boots work. Theoretically, it should, but I don't know. I've never had that situation. So I... Where am I? Oh, I'm just chilling out top. Again, let's skip this because this is kind of minimal. Let's see where something starts actually happening. So going up up here, just popping, 
pop in some harass. If you can get those frostbites in, it's always good to harass Broodmother. Even though the regen's really high, it's it can be damaged pretty easily because Broodmother doesn't have too great of armor, as you can see. Yeah, see, Broodmother only has four armor just because of Broodmother's stat gain sucks. So I see Meepo can just pop in over here. Oh, Meepo should have done some poofs. But if you pop some poofs, he could have killed Broodmother and Juggernaut at that point. And that's where mul having multiple Meepos come in because you can chain poof. So one Meepo poof, one Meepo poof, one Meepo poof. And if you have them all netted, it works perfectly because the net gives you enough time for three at least. So that's where I got my... Um, that's where I killed, I believe it was Kunkka. And with assistance by QOP and then over there we can just finish off uh, Tide. And then SK, always late to the party. You see, this is where the issue comes in. SK is kind of useless at the point where you just have lifesteal because, yes, you can tank, but you can't do any damage. With the bash, it's still okay, but it's, it's nothing compared to what SK's potential is with the stun. Because that's one of his most useful aspects. Like, see, if he had a higher level stun, he could have just killed me right there and then. So... So, so now what's going on is just a little fight over here, and I TP'd bot just to get this tower. You want to help, um, you want to help the carries get the towers, but you don't want to steal the tower kill as much as you can. Try to try stay away from stealing kills and things like that, just because the carry needs the farm more than you do, no matter what you want to say. So you see what he did there. Let me back up really quick. Uh, okay. Whoa, too much. Okay, let's start back. Oh, that's too far. Okay, so what he's doing is he's using all his Meepos at once over here. I don't know why he has it on Power Treads. I'm not exactly sure on that. So then what he does is takes out the tower, blah, blah, blah. And then he leaves two of his Meepos to go back to farm, right? And he goes up here, blah, blah, blah. Take it to talk to I go back just because I don't have much health. And then... Wish should have stayed up there, and then they could have finished. But then look, right then and there, he poofed his two Meepos up, which was very nice. I took out Kunkka, but he popped, he poofed his two Meepos. So poofing is kind of like, it ends up being like a TP for your Meepo, because you can meep, uh, poof to other Meepos. So it's really effective in a sense. Now, another thing as support is you want to push back these lanes, especially when they're being pushed like this. Bef you should try as much as you can to do it before they start pushing this far, and always be there for team fights as much as you can, because no matter what you think, you're going to be effective in team fights. That's what your role is as a support. You're a team, you're a team fight specialist most of the time. And like, see, if I had been there on time, then I could have frostbited. We could have finished off someone else, too, because they had overextended. I don't know why Wisp isn't using her, his or her, I don't know what you want to call Wisp's illusions, even though they look kind of funny. So, right here, they're just trying to go away. Juggernaut is actually very good against QOP because you have complete manager community when you're using your Q. So, their tide was just... I don't know what to say about that because Tide's ult has a decent cooldown, 150, but you want to ult with Tide whenever you can, as long as your team is in proximity. So like Broodmother could have jumped in and got some kills, popped right out really quick because of Tide's ult is, again, one of the best ults in the game. I don't know why Broodmother is just chilling out here, maybe trying to get some experience, maybe waiting for her his teammates, her, his or her team, I'm just going to call it a his, for this sake, his teammates, but they never really come, so we're just going to push this out as much as we can up top, so I believe, yeah, we're just going to push this out. As you can see, Wisp's role, again, just assist the carry in taking these guys out and making sure they live. I'm not sure why he broke the tether there and separated, because the tether, again, it speeds up both of you, not just one of you. I don't know why she tethered me. Again, I don't know. I don't make these choices. But you want to keep tethering the carry. You're basically, 
as a wisp, it's one of the babysitter supports. So literally, you babysit the carry, you make sure the carry lives. And in this case, I'm just, I'm just ganking right here. That was a decent ult considering I caught two of them in there, mostly two of them, and I got rid of Tide and Kunkka with that. And then Broodmother's just running around like a dummy. Although Broodmother did use most of the tactics that Broodmother should, it Broodmother didn't get enough farm in this case, and that's why she was kind of shut down in this in this situation. And what you want to do is always try to avoid just jumping in, even though you're invisible, just because there's five and they don't seem to have vision doesn't be effective. Whenever you're an invisible hero, you want to check the other care the other team's supports, usually supports, to see what they have in terms of dust or sentry wards and most of the time you can notice without checking but always try your best to check and you see i got my wards over here so what i'm gonna do i think soon is pop a ward down here and that'll be nice because then you get to see a good let's see if i can put oh well it's fog of well let's put fog of me only so then I pop a ward right here, I can see all of that, and that's a really important place, because you can see, I just saw Kunkka, I saw a Juggernaut just chilling out, and then I know exactly what's going on. So, and you can see my assists are very high, 14 out of 21 kills I was involved in, that's pretty good, 15 now. But, yeah, it's, it's important as a support just to do this kind of things, like, if you look at my gold per minute, yeah, it's low, but you realize I'm a support. I'm almost tied with a carry. Well, I don't want to consider SK a carry, a tank. But Broodmother, a carry. Kunkka, somewhat carry. I'm pretty close to them, and that's good. Gold per minute again. Ta uh, more than Juggernaut, a decent bit more. So it's things like that. You want to, again, as a support, you shouldn't be stealing the XP, EXP or gold from the carries. But you want to you wanna at least keep your levels up. Like... That's the only issue with Wisp. It's hard to it's hard to kind of get levels as Wisp unless you literally sit with the carry. And that's where relocate comes in as Wisp's ult. You want to pop right back home, heal up, and then go attack someone. So say I was a Wisp right here, I would use my ult like he did, except I'd go home, heal up, come back, and then you would be fresh to go, you could kill. So there, QOP, again, using her ult quite often... Even though, eh, 135, decent cooldown. I don't know why she's spamming it so much. I wouldn't. But that's just me. Just to take out one that we could have gone anyways. So again, I just got my first spell as uh, Crystal Mane. And I'm not a big fan of it. Just because um, the second spell is a lot more effective. In terms of assisting the, your carries. So Meepo's just going all out now since he... I think Meepo has one, two, three... Oh god, too many Meepos. One, two, three, four, five, I believe there's an Aghanim Scepter. Yes, I am. So right now at this point you can see Meepo's 762 AXP per minute. Let's see the tab. Yeah, 17... Level 17 over level 10s. And Tide is 6 just because Tide sucks in this game. Well, in this matchup, Tide was just failure and Ty didn't know how to do his tidiness so you can see how important it is to have good supports in your game and I I believe I don't know if there's anything else important that I can show you I mean I got that all off there that saved us basically right there I you want to spam your spells as much as you can if you're an int intelligence based support even strength based support such as ES or who else is a support? I can't think right now. Things like, oh, Vengeful Spirit. Vengeful Spirit or Earth Shaker. You have really good stuns. You have really good crowd control. You want to use that to your advantage. Use those spells. Get Arcane Boots. Get Tranquil Boots. Get your Mechanism. It It's not only going to help your team, but it's going to help you. And you have to realize, it's not always about you in Dota. It's not always about how well you do. It's not about kills or assist it's about your team overall and how well your team does so you see right there that was Meepo's super poof and this is where I, I started uh, I started sucking because it got late and then my parents and all that garbage started happening people came in my room all that crap 
So you see, I'm just sucking right now, but... I hope you understand the role that you should be playing as a support. That was just deadly. But you see, um, Wisp used the relocate to get over there really quick. And then finish off Roshan and get back over there. It's gonna be bad. I don't know exactly where the relocate was used, but it might be bad. Or not, it wasn't re- Yes, it was. No, it wasn't. I, I'm getting confused myself now. But, ooh, that looks really cool. Oh my god, I did not know. Okay, uh, that's distracting. But, um, yeah, I hope you guys understand the role that I wanted to get with how you should be playing your support. Again, just a quick recap. You should be going through um, warding. I laid off on that a little bit. Uh, right again. There I did. And then you want to help the carry, assist the carry. That's your role as a support. It's in the name for God's sake. Just use your abilities. It's not about you. You're not supposed to be getting all the kills. It's the carry's role. So, again, I hope you understand your roles. If you want to play Dota 2 sometime, just um, log, log on on Steam, add me up as a friend. I forgot what my name is. I think it's NP Taylor. I'll put it in the comments. Eh, not in comments, info. Jeez. This was an interesting time, and I hope you had fun. I will talk to you later, and just tell me what you guys want in a video next time, honestly. I mean, I like doing videos, but I want your guys' feedback. I feel like we don't get enough feedback on these videos. Only ones are like Command and Conquer and Minecraft, and we always joke about those being our main videos. And overall, I hope you liked my video, and.